So let's say we have a geometric sequence. The third term is 16. The sixth term is 1.024. And I want to find the first term and the common ratio. OK, so if I'm told that the third term is 16, then using my first formula up here, I can say that 16 is equal to a r squared. n minus 1, 3 take away 1. And if the sixth term is 1.024, then 1.024 is equal to a r to the 5, in much the same way. So we now have two equations with two unknowns, a and r. Now, you may be a little unused to solving uh, equations of this format, simultaneous equations of this format. What you can do, OK, in order to eliminate the a in this case, is to divide one equation by the other. Now, it makes sense to do equation 2 divided by equation 1, because then I'm going to have an r to the 5 divided by r squared. So let's see what happens. We've got 1.024 over 16 is equal to a r to the 5 over a r squared. Now the a's in this case can cancel. Perfect. We've got this 1.024 over 16. Let's see what the calculator makes of that. That's 8 over 125 simplified. And we've got this r to the 5 divided by r squared, which is r cubed. So if I cube root both sides of this equation, I can get r, which is going to be 2 over 5. So r is 2 fifths. I can then substitute that back into one of the two equations, original equations, to find a. So it makes sense to substitute it back into 1. So 16 is equal to a times 2 fifths squared, so 4 20 fifths. Divide both sides by the 2 fifths squared, so 4 over 25 gets me 100. So a is 100. So the first term was 100, the common ratio was 2 fifths. OK, and that's how we can solve equations, uh, simultaneous equations of that form.